here is super thin. I don't know if you can see those dark spots up behind me, but that's like three or four inches of water on top of three inches of ice. So I'm fishing pretty sketchy water right now, but I figured I might as well come out and at least try. Super windy, but I need to get that bob house set up. already two o'clock which only gives me about two hours to fish so let's not waste any more time let's just start setting up my tip-ups the tip-ups I'm gonna be using today are Fraybill insulated tip-ups and that just basically means they put styrofoam here which covers up the water in your hole to prevent it from freezing up but luckily Right now it's about 35 degrees, so I'm, I don't really have to worry about that. Now since I've fished here previously, I know that the depth is 9.5 feet. And I'm using some extra large shiners today. If you look at it compared to my hand, it's a big golden shiner here and typically in my experience I have better luck with bigger bait now sometimes that means harder to hook up but and I'm gonna send it about six seven feet down just so it's a couple feet up off the bottom all right that's the first one down just have to repeat this process five more times in New Hampshire you're allowed six lines at the same time. Cool thing about these tip-ups too is that they come with a little night fishing bobber. Pretty sweet. My flag already popped on the other one here. I don't think I have a fish or anything. I think the shot is just so big. That's a false flag. Oh no, that was a fish and I had him right at the hole, but he spit it. That was quick. But in past experience, I have better luck on these bigger shiners. But like I said, I'm fishing about nine and a half feet, so I'm gonna send it six, seven feet down and uh, hope for the best here. Hey, I got one. Oh, I got two. This one actually looks like it might be on. Nope. Looks like it was just the shiner. Fish is on here. See if we can get him for the first fish today. Got him. Tiny, real tiny. Okay, first fish today. Not a bad bass either. But these extra large shiners they won't just catch big fish. I mean, look at this little guy. This one's maybe a quarter of a pound, and he hit a shiner probably half his size in length. Awesome, first fish today. Didn't take long. 
I already have a fish and I'm not even done setting up everything yet. So like I said, in New Hampshire, you're allowed six lines in the water. And I actually forgot one of my tip-ups. The line snapped from a pickerel last time I went fishing. So instead of a tip-up, I'm going to be using a jaw jacker. Which is a super fun alternative to a tip-up. With this thing, you can actually fight the fish on a rod and reel. Now the rod I'm going to be using is a 13 fishing code blue. Now this is a 28 inch medium power rod. So this will be perfect for pickerel, perfect for bass. If you're going to be fishing for like bluegill, yellow perch, you might want to go with a medium light, but I'm looking for those big bass. So a medium power rod is perfect. And then I got that tied to a 32nd ounce jig. And I'm actually gonna find a dead shiner in my bait bucket and rip the head off and put it on there. And hopefully a fish will come and eat it. All right, since I don't have any dead ones, I don't feel like killing a shiner. So I'm just gonna barely nose hook it so I can get the most exposed point possible and send this down. Just like all the other ones, about six feet. I already have something. I already have something. I didn't even get it set up yet, and I think it's big. Yeah, this is big. Whatever it is. Oh, I see my leader. Ooh, a pickle. Nice. Oh, look at that hook. Barely in the side of the mouth. Hooked him perfectly. What a fun fight on the little rod. This is a long pickerel too. Okay, you can get out of here. Get, get. get out of here. All right. That. Oh. Something hit my other flag over there. I gotta put this thing down. Got him. Ooh, this has some weight to it. A nice bass. Wow. Look at this largemouth. What a solid two pound fish. I knew those bigger shiners would work. I'm a big fan of them. Put him back. Oh, that was so cool. Man, I'm still not finished setting everything up yet and I already have two bass and a pickerel to show for and that last bass was really nice. Alright, I actually had to change up rods to the 13 Fishing Sonicore only because I forgot that other rod didn't have this little band. You need this band for the jaw jacker to work. Yep, there's something on it too. Got him. Ooh! Big head shakes, big head shakes. Got him. Man, what another solid bass. On the giant shiner. Look at that. Second bass today, not quite as big as that first one, but man, I'll take it on the extra large shiner.
Goodbye, bass. Whew. Finally, I finally got everything set up. Probably took me an hour between catching all those fish and setting everything up. You guys can see, I'm fishing about eight feet right here and I'm about seven feet down, a foot off the bottom. Actually, you can see my shiner right there in between the eight and six. So I don't know if I said this before, but I'm fishing for bass and pickerel. Where I live in New Hampshire, it's gonna be a couple weeks before the big lakes start freezing up. So I'm kind of stuck fishing smaller ponds and lakes right now. Okay, that's a fish. That's a fish. All right, he's got it, he's got it. Got him. Pickle, pickle. I see him fighting down there. He spit it and back down the hole he goes. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so that is best case scenario there. That was cool though. I saw him come up on the Garmin and I'm not even recording. Dang it. Well, I just had a pick roll on and I think I might've got it on the big camera. But unfortunately, I missed it on the GoPro. I wasn't filming. Which kind of stinks because it was pretty cool watching him come up from the bottom and eat the shiner. There's a fish down there. Oh, there's two fish down there now. Watch this. Since there's two fish, I'm going to get bit. Got him. Oh my god. Big fish. Big fish. I can't reel him in though, that's the thing. Here we go, this is a nice fish, whatever it is. I'm just gonna go by hand, it's way easier. Way easier by hand. Huge bass, huge bass. No! What am I doing? Man. Those fish were fighting over that shiner and I finally hooked into that largemouth. And that largemouth was huge. It had to be three and a half, four pounds. And it just so happened that since I tied braid on my ice fishing rod and I haven't switched it yet, that braid was just twisting on my reel. So I decided to bring it up by hand and once I got it up to the hole I realized how big it was and instantly tried to lip it. And when I lipped it my thumb got caught in the hook point and it just freaked out one time and just boop, flipped up. Yep, there's something on here. There he goes. Hopefully we can hook into a couple before I have to go. Things are starting to slow down when I first got here. I mean, I was catching flag after flag, fish after fish. But it's definitely slowed down. 
And it's definitely got a lot colder as well. But nothing on that one. Nothing on this one. There's my weight, and at the end of my line, looks like a pickerel got it. Dang. I gotta get these hand warmers on and working real quick. The temperature dropped probably 15 degrees already. Holes are starting to freeze up. I'm starting to freeze up. Well, something was on it. Still is. What do we got here? Got something small. No way! Is caught in one of my other lines. I believe that one right there. Okay, so I caught him on the black tip up. And he tangled up my other tip up about 10 feet away. Alright, since I only have about 20 more minutes of daylight, I'm going to start packing up the tip-ups that go off. This one went off, snapped in a pickerel's mouth, so I'm just going to pick it up now. That one just caught me that pickerel, so I'm going to pick that up as well. Alright, I think I got a fish. Got him. Got him. Oh, oh. Got wrapped around <laughs> the cord and uh, spit it. Well, that is it for tonight, guys, and fortunately, I did catch quite a few decent fish. Unfortunately, I also missed quite a few big fish today. I'm still a bit rusty with my ice fishing game this year. I mean, this is only the second time I've been out on the ice this year. But one thing I need to do is get the right hook size. I would have hooked into probably three or four more fish today if I was using the right size hook. My hook was just too small for the extra large shiners I was using today. And when I go ice fishing, typically I try to get the biggest shiners I can because that's what's been working best for me. I actually came here last week with only small shiners and I really didn't do that well. I caught a couple small fish, but that was about it. But when I upsized the extra large shiners, that's when I really started to get the bigger bites and more bites. But as you guys can tell, it is pitch black yet, and I haven't even picked up all my stuff yet, so I really need to get to stepping. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace.